You see, I bet in the generation of the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, whatever, that there were there was criticism of the young people uh, with this uh, hippie drug uh, rock and roll thing. But I'll be honest with you, I prefer that time and that situation. And of course, you had the '60s with the uh, with the uh, demonstrations, and uh, I mean, we went through some tough, tough times. There's no doubt about it. And the country was changing, where I see the country changing now, for the worst, because at least back in those times, it was a combination of the bad and the good, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Now we got the ugly. You see, uh, my point is that young people do not, this generation, because of technology and fucking social cocksucker, unmedia bastard shit, the young people are more retarded now and more distorted in their fucking brains than at any time in the history of mankind. Uh, They're lazier. There, in, in you see, you know what's really destroying the fabric of the society? Lies, lies from Hollywood, manipulation of, of, of from Hollywood, uh, coming up with these retarded shows that are not real, have nothing to do with what the what the show is. You know, it, they're not representing real life. Okay, um, uh, like these uh, cop shows, always got some fucking cunt with a fucking gun. You know, that is so fucking bullshit. It really is. And uh, making women into like super women, you know. This is part of the feminist movements. That they are manipulating Hollywood to make these shows depicting women as superheroes. They're not. Okay? That's a lie. That's a manipulation. Right? But, you see, it, there's such a chokehold. This, these feminists, these lesbians, these uh, uh, all these people that are trying to poison you with their lies and manipulation because they hate men, you see? And men, oh, don't get me started on men. Men are pussies today. Men are letting the feminists and the lesbians uh, 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 try to take over uh, the media and society. You know, because like I said, what whoever controls the media, controls the flow of information, controls uh, the agenda, okay? Like I said, back in the day, it was about fun. You know, you had the Beach Boys, you had Woodstock, you had Led Zeppelin, you had everything. Just rock and roll was always pure. It wasn't perfect, but it... But let me tell you something. Here's the big difference between my beloved rock and roll and my era and this era today of 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 blackness, of the rap crap shit, which is bringing nothing but poison. Um, you know, uh, 400 years later, they're still talking about slavery in this country. I had nothing to do with it. My family had nothing to do with it. My family was from the Caribbean. And we had nothing to do with slavery. But even if my, 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 even if my family was white, what does that have to do with the price of tea in China? You know, it's just like uh, the Jewish, the Jewish people. They're still talking about the, the Holocaust. You know, uh, they'll never stop talking about, it, of course. And um, you know, it, it's sort of like a chip on your shoulders. What I'm really trying to say, you know, instead of like you moving on you know, to help people, to, you know, be right with people. No, you have to talk about your slavery, You got uh, which is for over 400 years old now, older than the Holocaust. You got to talk about uh, that. Uh, you got to talk uh, like, like you got this huge chip on your shoulder because you're trying to manipulate society. Uh, you know, like we know who's in charge of, 
the banks and who's in charge of the financial institutions and who's in, in charge of the media and who's in charge of uh, this and who's in charge of that. We know. We know who they are. I don't need to say it or repeat it because you know where I'm coming from with this. But does that affect my life? Not really. I'm just making an observation on privilege. It's really about privilege and and winding like a little fucking infant. Wah, wah. You know, I was in slavery. My my family was just wah. Even 60 Minutes last night did a, a story of this guy who, um, you know, down in the South and and uh and uh and, and bought this house that turned out to be a a, a slave house and you know this is this is the democratic socialist leftist ideology to shove black culture down your throat there's only 13% of the population i hear but it's every fucking day on tv i got to hear about black this and black that and quite frankly, I'm getting tired of it. It's not my culture. It never was my culture. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, I just, you know, it's these, there's just particular groups, especially here in New York, in liberal New York, with with all this, uh, the, 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 the woke movement, the leftist, uh, leftist media, and, and all this uh, bullshit that's going on against patriotic Americans like me, who just want to be patriotic Americans. I don't need to be shoved this shit down my throat. Just like uh, the rap crap. Uh, they, they came with this, this, this blitz. And what has, what has rap done? Rap has destroyed our rock and roll music. Rap has destroyed everything about our culture. About the white culture. It has stomped it to the ground. Uh, we got guys like Will Smith who's now, I don't know if, if this is true, because I, I tried to look up the article, it was on social media, that Will Smith is criticizing Ozzy, Ozfest, as a white thing. How racist is that from Will Smith? He's a punk. He's a bitch. He's nothing but a racist fucking piece of shit. I never fucking liked him. He's on TV in that stupid show. Uh, oh, ain't he cute? Uh, he's so funny. He's nothing but a fucking racist, and they're all racist. All these black people are nothing but fucking racist. And when I say it's reverse discrimination, it is at such a high level right now that the black people, thanks to their democratic, woke movement, media, POWs, are pushing their agenda down our throat. Okay? And I'm afraid what happened in Buffalo might happen again because we are being provoked we are being pushed we are being it's like a street fight you know when you gotta fight with someone and he pushes you and he like dares you to fucking hit him that's what's going on in our society and the the, the white people are being provoked by this by this onslaught of shove it down your throat uh, uh, the rap crap, the culture of that, the, 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 uh, and, and, you know, this is all negative against black people. You know, I mean, there's so much negativity that's coming from them. You never hear hardly any black people because it's a media blackout. I, I believe you, except if you go to Fox news and you see some of the black people there who are obviously pro Trump and, uh, and patriotic. But you hardly ever hear of black people uh, talking patriotic, talking about what really matters in this country, what's important in this country to get this country together. You know, no, it's 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 uh, it's uh, these TV shows, uh, 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 Black Your Mama, uh, uh, Hip Hop Black of uh, Atlanta, uh, uh, this hip hop of this, and his is hip hop. Listen, I'm sick and tired of that bullshit. And that's why I'm so proud to be on social media and to actually tell the truth. We are sick of it. And like I said, I believe there will be more incidents that happen in Buffalo because, you know, and this kid was young and stupid only because he was young. 
Okay, he didn't have enough uh, of life experience, just like that one that killed those people in South Carolina. It was a kid, you know? Um, they're just kids, you know? But, but, but kids grow up really quick, really fast, especially in today's world. And like I said, stop shoving this shit down our throats. You've already fucked us by destroying our beloved rock and roll music. You are, you are, um, uh, this is reverse discrimination of the highest order. And we're sick of it. And unfortunately, more incidents are going to happen if you keep provoking us. Stop with your bullshit already. Leave us the fuck alone. Stop with this fucking bullshit of the rock and roll hole of scum, of fucking shame putting in thugs and criminals in there. Cut the shit out. Leave us the fuck alone and stop trying to destroy our fucking way of life, our culture, okay? I'm telling you, leave us the fuck alone.